Are you sick of the short-term fixes? This is not your stereotypical dieting book. For many people, overcoming the uncontrollable desire for refined carbohydrates, such as donuts, pastries, cakes, brownies, pretzels, soda pop, and candies, is a prerequisite to achieving their healthy weight. Often, the desire to eat less is actually hindered by physiological, innate cravings for carbohydrates and sweets caused by neurotransmitter imbalances. The belief that most people who overeat are lazy or gluttonous ignores the scientific fact that many individuals are not choosing to indulge, but instead, suffer from food addictions driving them to devastate their health. Serotonin imparts a feeling of well-being and satiates our appetite. Low levels of serotonin increase our appetite for sweets and eating carbohydrates, especially white sugar and white starch foods, because they raise serotonin levels. Women make about seven times less serotonin in their brains than men do and this may explain why women crave sweets more than men. Daily life stress often reduces our serotonin supplies. Many researchers now believe the average American's increasingly busy, multitasking, stressful life is directly responsible for the two commonly found suboptimal levels of serotonin in the United States. Haven't you wondered if stress contributes to your unhealthy eating habits? Actually, our bodies are designed to respond to stress, but only the short-term, acute type of stress. For example, the stress of your child falling down and skinning his knee, decreases our hunger and digestive activity, so we can focus our energies on the emergency situation. When being chased by a wild animal, we have no desire to stop and eat our favorite comfort food. Historically, humans did not often survive long enough to experience chronic stress. Instead, our ancestors would either have perished from the events causing the stresses, or would have lived through the traumatic event and quickly recovered from the acute stress. Perhaps some commonly experienced stresses of our ancient ancestors could have been, there's no water available, so I must travel to find some before I die of thirst. That wild boar is about to attack my family, so we need to run away as quickly as possible. Another example of our ancestors' short-term stresses could have included these situations. The weather is too hot or too cold, too windy, very stormy, etc., so I have to find shelter. As stated, our bodies are naturally designed to respond to acute, short-term stress by decreasing hunger. But, chronic stress is actually a relatively modern occurrence and it disrupts our body's inborn normal responses. Long-term stress so commonly found today, such as a bad marriage or an extremely taxing job, actually triggers cravings for fats, sugars, and carbohydrate-laden foods. Just one example of nature, that is, genetics influencing our eating is dairy products. According to a leading researcher, the odor of food usually stimulates the I am full signal in the brain, but there is one important exception, dairy products. In infancy, milk is our primary food, and it promotes rapid growth in the first year of life. It appears that this is a permanent mechanism, it doesn't change with age. As adults, we can eat large amounts of dairy products without getting the I am full message. It's not unusual for one person to eat up to half a pound of cheese without a hint of fullness. The same is true for ice cream product. We know that every thought and emotion triggers a cascade of biochemical changes in the body. And your biochemicals, the neurotransmitters and hormones, in turn direct every thought, mood, and emotion you have. They even shape your personality, as well as modulating your experiences of pain and pleasure. Neurotransmitters control your food cravings, appetite, energy levels, sex drive, and sleep. If you learn the secret of these triggers, you can control your own neurotransmitters by waking them up and tuning them into giving you better health, balanced weight, and higher self-esteem. 
All this is revealed in Cut the Guilt. And this works for every woman. Achieving and maintaining a healthy weight in our modern society requires understanding the tremendous influences played by the mind, emotions and bodily processes on our eating urges and habits. The secrets of our eating behaviors are revealed in Cut the Guilt with a new and deeper recognition of the psychological and the biological triggers. What can this do for you? These deeper recognitions can open the door to a possibility other than stagnation. In considering these decidedly new ways, you can step through the door and pave another pathway to build new synapses in your brain, and physically and spiritually welcome new energy for your dreams of healthy eating and weight. Within the puzzle of nature versus nurture, is the secret to your triumph over the common challenges of obesity and eating disorders. So is the answer to your true health, nature, that is biology, or nurture commonly known as psychology. Which is responsible for your modern day unhealthy eating patterns. The answer is both. Both dance together is such synchrony that trying to separate and teach only one partner a new set of dance steps is inviting frustration and failure. So dancing together will give you the secret. The brain's pleasure center is behind those intense cravings and elated feelings we experience when we indulge in so-called comfort foods, sugary, chocolatey, or salt-laden snacks full of empty calories, refined carbohydrates, and processed ingredients. After eating, junk comfort foods, our brains are quickly flooded with the feel-good, neurotransmitters, serotonin, and dopamine, the brain chemicals that satisfy our pleasure sensors. Many individuals develop a relationship between food and happiness, before we know it, we're reaching for a big plate of macaroni and cheese, our favorite chips, or those chocolate-covered, multicolored candies. We have unintentionally created a false happiness appetite cycle where we subconsciously link comfort foods with the fulfillment of our emotional needs, rather than of our nutritional needs. To empower your journey to better health. Dr. Kathleen Fuller and Dr. Jason Schwartz share with you the crucial tools to effectively balance both sides of our modern-day unhealthy weight predicament, biology and psychology. By combining our expertise in Cut the Guilt, we have written a unique and empowering how-to book dedicated to your exciting, fulfilling journey to healthy eating behaviors and a healthy weight, thus awakening the amazing woman you are. As experts in the fields of psychology and physiology, functioning of the body. Dr. Kathleen Fuller and Dr. Jason Schwartz, join together to teach your mind, emotions and biochemistry to dance to a new rhythm of healthy eating. Get this book now and start your own journey to make peace with your eating and weight today. Available from Amazon.com. And please visit our website for exciting updates at drkathleenfuller.com.